Hey there, smartphone fans. Welcome back to Smartphone Wars. And if you're shopping for the best looking and most feature rich $100 phone on the market, I have a very decent solution for you here today. I will be reviewing the Elephone A4, the best looking and most feature rich $100 device you can find on the market. It has all the latest trends like a notch. It also still has a 2.5 millimeter headphone jack really thin small bezels and it's not very thick also it's not heavy but it's again made of metal and glass so very premium build quality we're talking about here and feature packed it is it has a side fingerprint scanner which actually works really well i wasn't expecting it to work so well but it's like a 10 out of 10 if you place your thumb at the right place it will absolutely unlock it instantaneously and the phone also comes with a usable face ID and lock. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's fast. And in daylight, it works really, really well. I can say that that's for a lot of phones in $100 price range. And just look at that really gorgeous display. Standing at 5.85 inches and at higher than HD resolution. Very vivid colors, very deep blacks. This is perhaps one of the best displays I've ever seen. Um, any Chinese phone pack around $100, certainly better than what Xiaomi has with the Redmi series at this price level. Really decent stuff. Uh, you can see how thin the side bezels are and the notch actually feels really okay. It's not cut out uh, perfectly as you can see on the top right, but hey, this is a $100 phone. You have to cut it some slack at some time. So all these premium features come uh, at a cost because this is an ultra budget device and as such it has limitations that's why elephant have chosen to opt for the entry level mt6739 quad core chip 3 gigs of ram and 16 gigabytes of onboard storage and just a single camera on the back the storage on the phone of course is expandable because it's a dual sim hybrid slot for the phone um as far as performance goes on this device if you've only used 100 120 dollar devices you will not feel the phone being slower than what you have. Yeah, it doesn't actually rock in Tutu, as you can see. Uh, as a gaming device, it's suited to play uh, light 3D games and plays them perfectly well. If you want to play a high-end 3D graphics game, like first-person shooter, make sure you lower the settings as low as possible to get uh, half-decent frame rate. This is not meant as a superb gaming phone, uh, and to handle the latest and heaviest 3D games, but taking the settings down to the lowest graphical settings, the games are still playable. Nobody expects a $100 phone to be a top-notch gaming device, but what about general performance? This is where the phone actually holds up pretty decently. Again, don't expect any Snapdragon 625, Snapdragon 660 level of performance, but it's a very decent daily driver and uh, uh, coupled with the stock Android and the 3GB of RAM, it actually does multitasking quite, quite well. All in all, thanks to the very light uh, Android uh, stock experience on this device. So it's a very adequate daily driver for the people who have used budget devices in the past and uh, are currently rocking one. But uh, if you come from a mid-range or high-end device, this will probably feel slow to you. About sunlight visibility, again, very very pleased with the performance in direct sunlight again better than what xiaomi and uh, huawei devices have around 100 dollars the display really is the crown jewel of this device uh, again look at those thin sides and uh, top and bottom borders yes the device punches much above its weight when it comes to the display when it comes to audio quality, the speakers were not really great, but the sound through Bluetooth and the headphone jack was actually quite decent. Moving on to battery life, the full battery can be charged in around 90 minutes, but the battery life is not really great, around 4-5 to five hours of screen on time tops on a single charge. Moving on to cameras, the phone's camera is, uh, well, it's a hundred dollar phone with a great display, great build quality, so naturally they've saved some money on the cameras. The rear camera is an old Sony IMX219 sensor that is 
still good for taking macro shots uh, in good lighting conditions but pretty much all landscape and low light shots um, are not really great there's no portrait mode here there's no camera ai and stuff like that uh, so if uh, you're looking for the best $100 camera phone, the Elephone A4 is definitely not it as a rear camera. Front camera actually was quite pleasing for the device at this price range, even if it's just 5 megapixels. The pictures were clear, color reproduction was actually fine, and it also had like pretty decent low light uh, performance, which was surprising. The video quality of the phone is just poor. The other quality is okay, but the video quality is nothing special. So shopping around $100 for the ultra budget phone you need with lots of features, premium looks and great display, the Elephone A4 is probably your phone of choice. Who isn't it for? Well, it's not for people who want uh, the best $100 camera phone or the best performance at $100 as well. Some sacrifices had to be made to deliver this really awesome phone that's feature packed and with a great display. So this has been it for my full Elephone A4 review. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel for more reviews like this. And if you want to buy the phone, there's a link below the video for Elephone A4's price and place of purchase. Thank you for watching and peace out.